Hi friends and welcome back to Diamond Delights. I am so pleased to have you here along for a little unboxing. I have purchased a few goodies, diamond painting goodies, from a New Zealand company um, called McBride Projects. Um, they are in Christchurch, but if you don't know, if you don't live in New Zealand, then that's fine. They are in Christchurch and I ordered these. They're like a small little company, small little business. And I wanted to try them out and see what they had to offer. So I have some a few goodies in here, a few accessories, and also one diamond painting I wanted to try of theirs. So let's get in and see okay, what so we let's have. open her on up. Now this was really, really super well packaged. Um, so we've got a little baggie here. No, it's not a baggie. That is empty for packaging to keep it all safe. Because there was this whole big area at the top here that didn't have anything. So she, I think she wanted it so it wouldn't move around like that in shipping, which is very appreciated. Um, so there's a little... And then this is what we see. So this will be the diamond painting in this blue rabbit. And it's got this really big um, air fold bag around it so oh squeaky I'm just gonna pull it out save from unwrapping it but here we go it was yeah like a little if you can see that little and these are all filled with air just to keep it all safe that is so so well packaged Thank you, McBride Projects. Um, and then in the bottom of the box, we've got my other goodies. All right. Now, I've had this sitting in my home for about a week and a half, waiting to film a video for you guys, so you don't miss out in checking out my goodies. So that's the painting. That is her... Or her name and her logo quality checked this is super well packaged got a pretty blue ribbon to match the blue um, crepe paper I guess it is and then this is also bubble wrapped um, so I'm gonna open that one first now I haven't seen these in New Zealand before um, but I have seen them on um, like Instagram people showing them their things like that so that's also got a sticker um, so let's move that out the way and I'll show you this now this is just um, some little accessories I thought I wanted to try Okay, so, so what I got, well first let's have a look, she's given us the chocolate, very appreciated, which I am sure my little girl Isabella will munch on up. Here is her business card, so it's McBride Projects, the owner is Liz McBride in Christchurch, New Zealand. Um, but I will link her stuff all down below for you as well if you wanted to check her out if you live in New Zealand especially um, that is going to go to my daughter okay so in this little container which is sellotaped as well I got it's such a cute container. I might use that for something else as well. It's really cute. But I got this, which is a light pad. Um, it protects the, the, the on off button on the light pad. So what you do is you stick these things on the back and then you stick it on the light pad and you turn your light pad on and then you can cover it with this so you don't accidentally knock it and turn off your light pad which if you're like me you do that 
all the time. It is so annoying. So I'm going to do this right now. Oh, that's super sticky. I'm guessing that goes on there. And then there must be a little bit that you peel off. If I can do it with my acrylic nails. Let's get a handy dandy tweezer. There we go. Oops. Okay, pull that bit off. And then I've got my light pad here. And now I'm dropping everything. And if you see, um, this here is what turns it on and off. And if you knock it or touch it just the slightest bit, it turns off. <laughs> and now I've got my fingers stuck on the sticky bit. Oh, well, that's a great video, isn't it? <laughs> so this bit sticks here. And then when you use your light pad, you open that and cover it. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and should I put it here or that side? Which side do I put it on? Does it matter? Probably not. I'm going to stick that there because that's where it's gone already. So you stick that on and then to save turning it off accidentally, you can go like that and hopefully it protects it. Let's plug this in and give it a go. Alright, so there it is on. You know how you brush it, it just turns off and on and off and on. So easy. Yeah. If you cover it. Oh wow, that doesn't work very well, does it? Oh yeah, yeah kind of. You just have to still be a pretty gentle with it. Um, okay, yeah, that does not work that well. Okay, well, hindsight, people. That stuff that does not cover it and does not. See, look. Well, that is pretty much a flop for me, to be honest, because it does not help at all. But there, well, that was um, that one. So, um, yeah, if you've got any better suggestions for something to cover the light pad to stop it turning on and off, please let me know down below, because... This little thing has not worked. Maybe I need to put it on differently, but I'll give it another go and see. But that hasn't worked for me. Um, all right, so the next thing is I got myself a, a grinder um, where you put, you know you how you get drills that are super stuck together? You put the stuck ones in, close that, and you can grind, turn it. It's magnetized in the middle. And you turn it and it should hopefully get your drills unstuck um, what I usually use at the moment is at the moment I'm just using a little it's got a little um, like a little magnet thing in there or you can use a coin I didn't have a coin small enough to fit in it so I just used this and you put that in there and you can shake it about and it sometimes gets the drills apart it usually works pretty good but I wanted to give this a go and see how it went. So that is what that is. It's pretty um, banged up there, to be honest. I wouldn't say that's in the best of quality. Um, but see all that round there, that's, um, that's all scuffed and marked and I might email the owner about that um, but that was that and then I got these things where people I found people stick their pens in them and I mean clutter free counters it holds all these things 
and it looks pretty so I wanted to try that because we spend well I have spent a little bit of money on some really cool good quality pens and I don't want them hiding away not being looked at so I thought I would try this so it's I got two of them um, and then apparently you just stick your pens in them so I've got a pen here I am going to try and it just sticks in and it holds it and then you can look at your pretty pens and then there you go and your pens are sitting up like that and I'll probably put it on my like my desk or um, I'm going to get a new area for where I diamond paint and I'm going to get a set of drawers um, so I'll put this on top of the drawers and it can sit and look at my pretty pens so I got two of those um, so I've got the other one here and I got them both in the same colour let's just check that it was right yep so there's the other one that I got in the same colour and I have seen some people um, stick like a bit of cardboard in between and then they put their cover minders on either side of the cover of other side of the cardboard like I'll try with this so you can put that in there and then you grab a cover minder so for this I'm just going to use this one and you put them on the other side and there you'd obviously get a nice blank bit of paper so you can see the cover minder better and then they they stand up like that and then they stand there and you can see all your pretty cover minders as well that's pretty cute I really like that so I'm pretty pleased with those um, so that's what those two things were those were all my goodies and now I can show you the diamond painting that I got um, let's just move this out of the way Okay, so let's open this little beauty. I am just going to rip into it. Now this is my first canvas that I've tried from McBride Projects. So I really wanted to share that with you. Um, So I chose to get a, on this website you can choose to have a toolkit or not because some people don't, you don't need a toolkit because if you're like me you buy your own pens and stuff and extra super, super cool um, trays and things but I wanted to see what this one was like so we've just got the generics generic pen and the generic squishy that we always get just in plain blue we've got her card again and another chocolate um, so you get the normal um, red wax and then a little tray so that's just your basic tool kit um, which is fine I just wanted to try that and see what it was like so this is a square kit um, so these are all the drills now they have come all separately bagged um, but I will take them out of the bag and put them into my my kit and my containers because I, I really don't like using baggies I used baggies for my first ever diamond painting and oh my goodness it was a pain in the bum I tell you um, 
So those are all the colours. Let's just grab some of these and show you. Oh look, there's a little round hitchhiker. These drills look pretty good. You can see a few, um, like there, that's a bit of trash. That's to be expected in, in any of this. There's the ones with the holes on the top, but with the little bubbles, but that's normal. Um, the drills look pretty good. I'm not going to go through every one for you. I just, it's a bit hard to do when they're in baggies. It's a pretty colour. Now these look like they've got the, um, I think it's the, is it the 13 facets or the 15 facets on? Um, they look to be that. If you can see there, there's a super duper little holy one. Super duper holy one. That's fine. As long as we've got enough, I am okay with having a few trash drills. Those are those ones. Oh, that's a pretty colour. Now it looks like these are actually super dusty. So I don't know whether they've been sitting out or, or what, but they are really dusty. So I don't know how they got to be like that. Okay, so that's all the drills. I can't remember how many it is, but it will tell us on the canvas. I'm just going to chuck these back on in here. And this is the canvas I got. Okay, so we've got our inventory sheet. So that is what I chose to do. Do more of what makes you happy. Um, there is 46 colours. And it is the DMC number. So that's cool. I like having the DMC number. And the codes look really clear. It doesn't look, I'll get, like, doesn't look like I will get any of them really mixed up. It's got some instructions there. Um, and their website. And that's the image. Do more of what makes you happy. And this is the kit. So the size. Where is the size? Is it on here? Ah, yeah, yeah. I got 50 by 65 centimeters for the size. So there it is there. The do more of what? makes you happy so that's cool let's have a closer look now they they don't have ABs obviously it's not a company that do I don't think do ABs um, but that's the drill field so that's really clear that looks really nice those flat um, petals and stuff look really nice. Let's have a look at some of these flowers without the glare. There's some flowers. Let's do more. And the flowers at the top. So the drill field is super clear. This all this background of this black I thought might be all one colour. It's not really all one colour, it's interspersed. If you can see the different codes, you've got that one and then a four, so it's all um and then a few different ones here. So it's not all a hundred percent colour blocking. Um 
and that's all in the background all over so that's cool I am super excited to work on that and see how it goes um, so they've got their logo at the top and sorry I keep bumping you guys sorry um, so their logo the legend down that side and then also on the bottom and then it has their website down there now the canvas it isn't as soft as like DAC um, but it's still really good quality now let's see the stickiness okay yep yeah, that's super sticky um, now the sticky does go outside the drill field but that's fine that's normal that's super sticky got a cool clear plastic over it yeah so there you have it guys um, that is my little unboxing now I'm very sad that this <laughs> did not work for me if you guys got any other suggestions um, whether I put it on wrong I, I have no idea um, so let me know if you guys have got any suggestions for this how to make it work or something else to stop the me bumping the light pad um, button on and off button because it's so annoying when you're in the middle of diamond painting and you accidentally knock it and off it goes so yeah let me know down below if you guys have any suggestions for that I <laughs> I would gladly welcome anything um, all right guys I am so thankful for having you here for watching this video if you watch the full thing with me please leave a flower emoji down in the comments if you watch the whole thing I'd love to know if you made it to the end um, and I hope you're staying safe I hope you're being kind and as always thanks a bunch guys um, if you like this video and you want to see more from me please hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any new content and hit like that is another way to help out people's pages and i will see you in my next one thanks a bunch guys bye